Preventive Rotation Podcast, Critical Care Pharmacy Minute, where I discuss one critical care pharmacy thought in about one minute. I'm Pharmacy Joe of PharmacyJoe.com. When coag negative staph grows in a culture, it's usually considered a contaminant. Occasionally, coag negative staph can be a pathogen. This is more likely if the patient is immunocompromised or has an implanted device. Coag negative staph forms a biofilm on implanted devices, allowing it to adhere well to the device. How can you tell if coag negative staph is pathogenic? If only one blood culture is positive, it's most likely a contaminant. If two or more blood cultures are positive for coag negative staph, or if significant growth is detected from a device culture, it's most likely a pathogen. If coag negative staph is considered pathogenic, vancomycin is the preferred treatment. Second line alternatives that are also active in the setting of methicillin resistance, such as linazolid or daptomycin, may be considered based on patient factors and the site of infection. Rifampin may be added for enhanced biofilm penetration, but cannot be used as monotherapy. You can get my six tips for pharmacists responding to codes in my free download area at pharmacyjoe.com free. It's download number 16.